The Caudron C-460 emerged from France's aviation ambitions in the early 1930s, designed specifically for the prestigious Coupe Deutsch de la Meurthe race. Technical director Marcel Riffard and chief designer George Otfanowski created an aerodynamically refined machine that would dominate racing circuits and establish multiple world records. Development began with the C-362 series in 1933, which featured fixed, spatted landing gear. For 1934, Caudron produced one C-450 and three C-460s, with the crucial difference being retractable undercarriage on the latter. This modification necessitated a two-spar wing structure versus the single-spar design of the fixed-gear variant. The airframe combined spruce and birch plywood construction with steel and alloy engine mounts, magnesium cowling, and fuel tanks. Split flaps equipped the wings, while the tailplane's angle of incidence could be adjusted during flight. Power came from a supercharged Renault 456 six-cylinder inverted air-cooled engine producing 370 horsepower from just 7,950 cubic centimeters displacement, a Ratchy two-position variable pitch propeller, surface oil coolers, and streamlined design gave the C460 exceptional speed despite modest power output. The 1934 Coupe de la Meurthe saw initial undercarriage troubles force the C460s to fly gear down, allowing the C450, piloted by Maurice Arnoux, to claim victory. Raymond Delmotte nonetheless set a 100-kilometer, approximately 62 miles, world record of 431.65 kilometers per hour, approximately 268 miles per hour, in May 1934, with the C450. Hélène Boucher achieved 455 kilometers per hour, approximately 283 miles per hour, in August, and Delmont reached 505.85 km per hour, approximately 314 miles per hour, over 3 km on Christmas Day in a C-460. After installing more reliable Messier landing gear, Delmont won the 1935 Coupe Deutsch at 443.96 km per hour, approximately 276 miles per hour, average speed. The aircraft's international triumph came in September 1936, when Michel Detroit won both the Thompson Trophy, 425.3 km per hour, approximately 264 miles per hour, and Grieve Trophy, 397.9 km per hour, approximately 247 miles per hour, at the Los Angeles National Air Races, defeating larger American aircraft. This double victory sparked controversy among American pilots who protested foreign participation, leading to restrictions on non-American competitors. The 1936 French race introduced the larger C-461 variant with flush cockpit and limited forward visibility through side-mounted glazed channels, though Yves Lacombe's C-450 ultimately won due to Arnoux's technical delays, the evolution continued. In January 2009, enthusiasts including Tom Wathen and Aerocraftsman Inc. constructed a replica displayed at the Paris Air Show, preserving the legacy of France's most successful racing aircraft.